Station three, Jesus falls for the first time. I'd like to begin with a reading from the prophet Isaiah. Who has believed what we have heard and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant and like a root out of dry ground, he had no form or majesty that we should look at him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by others, a man of suffering and acquainted with infirmity. And as one from whom others hid their faces, he was despised and we held him of no account. I find it comforting that Isaiah describes the suffering servant as a man of suffering and acquainted with infirmity. It reminds me that during this pandemic that Jesus is not only the Son of God, he is also one of us. He is not sitting in a recliner on a cloud in heaven binge watching Netflix. Instead, he is walking in solidarity with all of us. He understands and feels our pain and our infirmity. And I think we all need to hear this as we face this global pandemic together. It should comfort us. It should give us hope. It lets us know that we are not alone, especially on days when we are fearful, lonely, or just plain tired. So I want you to be encouraged this Holy Week because Christ walks with us. And I'd like to share with you an old hymn that I have keep coming back to uh, during this Lenten season. And I pray that it would bring you comfort in these troubled times as we walk with Jesus through Holy Week. Jesus, keep me near the cross. There's a precious fountain free to all a healing stream. Flows from Calvary's mountain. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever, till my ransomed soul shall find rest beyond the a trembling soul love and mercy found me there the bright and morning star sheds its beams around me in the cross in the cross be my glory So from all of us at Abiding Savior Lutheran Church in Fairview, North Carolina, we wish you a blessed Holy Week. Be safe, be well, and know that God is walking with all of us. <laughs>